so in three to four days i made this amount of money is god not good hey lalis welcome back to my channel yes welcome back to my channel now i notice that you all are not subscribing and it's not fair now it's not fair really all you just have to do is hit the subscribe button that's all that's all you have to do but you're not subscribing and it's not fair it's really not fair at all mm, please oh yeah subscribe please eh subscribe thank you thank you thank you sir thank you ma <laughs> all right so yes welcome back to my channel yes welcome back to my channel and welcome on board yes so my name is happiness and that's on the bones and on this beautiful channel i came on my faith in god lifestyle and food so as you can see from today's video from the title of today's video it is a story time yes a story time on how i made a huge amount of money money black yes so if you really want to know how then you have to keep watching this video Are a part of the family yeah you know that in most of my manila trip videos or vlogs i mentioned i do mention that i traveled to manila march 28th yeah march 28th before easter sunday yeah and um you all <laughs> okay this is it so yes i i, I traveled to manila and but then before leaving for manila I had no intention of cooking because I have a business here in Ilelo City, known as Happy's Cuisine. Okay, I had no intention of cooking. Okay, I had no intention of selling food when I go there. And that is because I wanted to go to Manila mainly for my, um, my what's it called, my team number for YouTube, uh, to see my friends and also to just take a break, you know, new environment and all that. That was like the main reason why i was going to manila not to start going there to go and walk myself out by selling food at all no 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 that was not the reason why i was going to manila okay and also i didn't want to go into cooking because i know that in manila there are a lot of nigerians in manila and because there are a lot of nigerians in manila there are a lot of people that are selling food that are selling nigerian food so i didn't want to go there and you know start joining the competitors in manila like start competing and all i wasn't ready for that stress okay and plus my stay in manila was supposed to be for just a week so what time am i going to use to start selling food what am i going to use to start you know creating content for youtube what am i, am I going to start using to you know go to Kezo to go and get my team number what time will i even use to spend with my friends you see so i wasn't ready for that stress at all but then you know like i, I i've said in some of my videos okay when i was in manila they went on in fact before i went the, a day before I was leaving for Manila, that was when Manila went on lockdown, okay? So I went there during their ECQ, their Enhanced Community Quarantine. You can imagine, which means I was home, okay? Most of the time I was home because a lot of malls, a lot of places I would have loved to visit were not open. So because of the lockdown and also because my city, Little City had, um, what's it called, travel ban, okay? So you could... You can't travel to Iloilo City then, all right, because of the lockdown and also because of the cases increasing and all. My flight, my scheduled flight, in fact, my first scheduled flight was cancelled. And um, if you know me, I'm someone that, I don't want to say I'm a workaholic, but I'm used to working, I'm used to, you know, doing something. I'm not used to just really staying idle and all that, I'm used to actually doing something. Even if I'm not cooking, I love to do something like, editing videos doing something but then in manila i wasn't editing my videos because like i said i didn't go there to work okay i just went there to create content rest do my team number and all so i also wasn't editing my videos and all you get so i wasn't editing i was just home and i i, I wasn't comfortable anymore like god i need to do something so yeah 
so i hope i'm not missing things though <laughs> but anyway so yeah so while i was there i think there were days where i'll start saying that, oh i want to cook i want to cook i want to cook like i won't start selling nigerian food at all but then deep within me i didn't really mean it that i wanted to really cook 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 i was just saying it in the person you get so i was saying that i want to cook i want to cook i want to cook and that was because my flight was already cancelled and because my flight was already cancelled i had nothing doing and i just keep myself busy you get so i said i want to cook i want to cook i want to cook so my friend would just look at me like mm, okay so then um a day came i think the second time they cancelled my flight again i decided okay 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 i really want to cook i mean i want to cook 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 this one is just it's not i want to cook by mouth i want to really cook i want to sell food nigerian food yeah so i and my friend we started working on something we worked on the flyers you know and when we worked with the flyers you know we started posting and all but then nobody came true like nobody ordered for food or anything and i was feeling so sad and so bad like ah nobody has ordered nobody's placing order nobody wants to buy food and i was feeling so sad and so bad you get and then i even remember that a friend of mine also said something he was like why not do something different why not do something different and all that was like one of the things he said in person yeah but then i didn't really know what to do you get because i was like what, what 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 do i want to do i've already made flyer i've posted pictures on my instagram but then nobody's ordering and all that so yeah i remember one time yeah one of the things i was there i went to i went to, i went to clean up in the bedroom and when i was there i was just like god 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 this what would like to what would like to about this and the holy spirit actually told me that okay this is what you have to do okay do this do this all right and he was like okay do this do a promo do it before price after price and then just put it out there that's what he told me to do so when i got that idea i went to tell my friend that okay girl this is what we're going to do we're going to do this do this do a promo you know do before do after blah 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 and then just post it and you know because of the first time i you know did the broadcasting like the first time i did the posting or the publishing of my first um flyers since nobody ordered the second one i wasn't really expecting people to come through like i wasn't expecting people to you know order for food and all that but then as the lord may have it people actually started ordering like people were ordering for food you all like we were cooking like we cooked and the promo was like for um three to four days yeah three to four days people were ordering at a point like i got tired and it was so, so so stressful it was so stressful because like i was there my my friend my other people are so disrespectful disrespectful in the sense that yeah they won't tell you ahead of time that they want to like they don't pre-order they'll just tell you that moment i want to order for food do you have jello fries i want a plate of jello fries i want a plate of fried rice do you have because soup at that moment like they don't even tell you ahead that okay i'll, I'll love to order like for two plates of jello fries and fried rice tomorrow they don't do that they just order like on the spot or like here in Ilelo, in the city like they would pre-order like okay do you have food tomorrow i would love to order for you know a plate of jello fries and fried rice tomorrow she gets it so in manila like it was just so stressful for me and my friend because they kept ordering like on the sports and because i really needed the money i didn't want to start just slacking and not attending to them and all so yeah so we, we, we sold i like i mean i had my my biggest sale i mean my biggest profit that period in manila like i'm sorry i can't say the amount for you all the amount was like the amount was it was so good that i told god i was like i i, I was so speechless like I was, so in three to four days i made this amount of money is god not good <laughs> yeah so it was it was cool and then we had a contract where we had to cook for a yard party you know and that just added to it i saw the faithfulness of god like during the sales i thought people were not going to order but people kept ordering i knew all like people are still ordering up to now that i'm in the like 
every day i get at least two or one person reach out to me telling me um hi do you have food today do you have food today do you have food today and that's only god like people are still ordering for food up until now and i don't even know how to attend this so i keep telling that don't worry when i come back because i'll be going to my last soon by god's grace when i go to come back i'm going to you know attend to you all and all that so it's just so it's just so overwhelming even when i you know reduce the price of the food people still kept ordering and i'm like god this is you this is you this is you so yeah so that was really how i made a huge amount of money in one of my stays in manila you know like god really came true even though i wasn't even planning to do anything i wasn't planning to cooking i to cook i wasn't planning to do anything at all when it comes to business but god just came true like god i'm just so grateful so yeah 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 so that's it other really love to go into details but for security purpose you know and for my life if first one would not come to my house and say oh yeah bring the money the money that i finish so yeah so <laughs> i can't go into much details but anyways yeah so that was how i made a huge amount of money in my stay in manila and i really want to return all glory to god all honor to god and i really want to say thank you so much to my lovely friend josephine josephine was a big help Josephine helped me to the core, like to the core, like really. So I thank God for her life. I also thank God for the life of Tega. You know, Tega also helped. The Hiroki helped a lot. So I really want to thank God for their lives and also for the lives of other of my friends who were a great support to me in my stay. Why is there a fly that is flying here? Let me not catch it because I left my window open, but it's okay. Don't worry, I'll get out. I'm coming for you. <laughs> I hate flies, yo. So yeah, that's it. So thank you all so much for watching this video. I'll be in the part of this video, and the part of the video is lessons I learned in my stay in Manila. I really learned a lot of amazing lessons that I want to share with you all. So just stay stand by, and uh, I think the video will be up tomorrow. Yeah, by God's grace. So just watch out for it, and I hope to see you all again. Have a wonderful day. Stay safe. I love you, and God bless you.